Hi guys, it's Corrine with Corrine's Creations and today I am so excited to share this with you. This is a kit from Club La La Land Crafts. If you are not familiar with Club La La Land, I'll have all the information down in the description box as well as all the information on my blog. You can visit their website at lalalandcrafts.com and it's a subs monthly subscription based. Um, and there's going to be three different things to choose from. So let me pull this out to show you what I'm talking about. Your monthly subscription comes in this adorable gold envelope. And in it, depending on which one you subscribe to, there are three different subscriptions. You can subscribe to just their stamp sets, which you get a lot of stamps with it. You can subscribe to just their dies or the best value you can subscribe to everything. So this, if you subscribe to everything, it is $39.99 and it'll show you what the value of it is. It's $70.99 and you get all of this with it. So look how cute that is. This is Love to Bake Marcy. She comes with two sentiments and she's a good size. Baker's gonna bake and you are a cupcake in a world full of muffins. And then this is the Baking Hamsters and you've got all these sentiments whipped up just for you. Hey, cupcake, eat more cake. Happiness is, and you can add a piece of cake or a cupcake. And then these great dies come with it. You got the layered cakes. It's got two layers, but you can make it as tall as you want. You got the electric mixer with the bowl and you got this cute little cupcake. So I'll have all the information link down in the description below. If you subscribe, you will have a link to the entire design team's projects and tons of inspiration. Um, I'm going to share some projects with you today and over on that website I, I will have a full tutorial. I will show you a quick tutorial today as well. So here is what it comes with. And again this is the full kit. So you get this large Marcy and if you have never used red rubber I love, love, love clear stamps. However, you cannot get quite a good impression with clear stamps as you can this deeply etched rubber. And as you can see, she is a nice size with the two sentiments. These are the hamsters. And I did stamp them out for you to just get a better look at them. You get such a great impression with this high quality rubber. It's just not quite the same like clear stamps. Although I do love clear stamps, it's not quite the same. And then here are the dies with it. You get the two cake layers mixer, the frosting, the mixing bowl, some strawberries, and um, the cupcakes. And let me show you, I wanted to give you a better look. Here are the mixing bowls. I went ahead and stacked them. Here's this one. I cut this one. I had so much fun playing with this. Here's the mixer cut from some glitter paper as well. Oops. And then we have this, so much fun. And then here I cut it from some silver mirrored card stock. I cut that top off and then you can add that top to any pattern paper. You can cut it from white paper and color it in yourself. And then here are the strawberries. Here's one of them. They have a little bit larger one and you just glue on that green piece. And then here's the layered cakes. You got the frosting and I did one in glitter paper and silver as well. So you can have so much fun with these dies. Let me share with you a project that I made. So here is a project that I made. I actually have a few projects to share with you and I will also have some more videos on my channel coming out soon with more detail on the other projects. I do have a quick tutorial on this project that I will put here in a moment. But like I mentioned earlier, if you subscribe to their subscription, monthly subscription, which it's so much fun to get in the mail, it's going to have a link for you to go there and see all the amazing design team work. And it'll have all the details of how to make this project. So on the front here, I used a couple of their other dies. They have so many dies and stamps to choose from at their lalalandcrafts.com. This one is the large stitch tags die. I use that one and I, this is one of my favorites. This is the stitched bow die. I'll link to all of these, but look how cute these bows are. 
If you know me, you know I absolutely love bows. Look how cute those are. So I use that in every project, I believe. On the front here, um, this is a little recipe book, and this is, I believe, six and a half by five. I'm not quite sure. I'll have all that um, information listed on the link here. My niece is really into baking lately, my little niece, and she's having fun baking with her mom and her grandma. So she asked me to send her a few of my favorite recipes. So instead of emailing them to her or sending them to her, I thought I would make an adorable little book that she can keep. And I used Simple Stories Kissing Booth. It's a Valentine themed, but I thought it went perfect with this month's subscription. I have uh, Marcy Loves to Bake on the front here. I have the cupcake liner with the cupcake and the cute little strawberries. I use three of those tag, tag dies, one from the pattern paper, that adorable bow with a pearl center. I added the stamp, You Are a Cupcake in a World of Muffins. And then I have some clay hearts here. She's so much fun to color up. I did bind it with my cinch. And so every page is a pocket page that I'm going to add recipes to. So I have the recipe and the directions on the back. I made, I used this um, from one of the, from the scallop bracket die from La La Land Crafts. I did a black border and then a pattern paper. And then of course, like I said, I use these bows a lot. I have the layered cake with the strawberries. A uh, little hamster with his whisk, and he's got his cupcake here, another bow. Here I use Thinking of You, Marcy. They have so many cute ones to choose from with her little hamster. The mixing bowl and the little hamster. Here he has his little mixing bowls. And then he, the hamster with his cake. So this was so much fun to make. Stay tuned for the quick tutorial on this, but allow me to share a couple more projects with you quickly. This one here I use Simple Stories Bloom and Grow. Um, I will have another video on my channel on this soon. And here I colored her to match the paper collection. I have that adorable mixing bow, bowl and mixer with a bow. I have the little cupcake here, the adorable little hamsters. And this is a fun little treat for a friend whose birthday's coming up. It says whipped up just for you. And I show how to make this little box in my video. So when you open it up, you have the cookies. Super cute, easy, quick to come together. I have a couple other projects that I will be sharing in other videos. So check out Club La La Land Crafts. Leave me a comment. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, check out the description box below. I'll link to everything. I ho hope you subscribe to the monthly subscription. They are just absolutely high quality, adorable stamps and dies. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Okay, so let's start with the base of the book. I am using a lightweight black chipboard. That way I didn't have to wrap each page and I wanted to give a tiny little black border to my book. So it was just easy for me to use a lightweight chipboard. You can use cardstock if you wanted to. You don't have to make yours out of chipboard. You could even double up cardstock and it would probably be the same thickness of what I have here. So for the base of my book, um, I'm using cardstock for demonstration today, but I did use a lightweight chipboard. You wanna cut your chipboard to five and a half by six inches. And then we're going to be matting each piece with pattern paper. Mine is cut to five and three eighths by five and seven eighths. That way it leaves me a tiny little border here. So for example, this is simply how I did it. I just added ATG to the back of each pattern piece. And I'm using Kissing Booth by Simple Stories. So do that first, um, mat your chipboard with your pattern paper. This came together really quickly. Okay, it's as simple as that. That leaves us a tiny little border of black, which I think looks great with this paper collection. The next thing we want to do is get our pockets ready. 
This is a decorative edge using the scallop bracket die from La La Land Crafts. And for the black piece, we're using the largest in the dies. We will also cut a pattern piece using the second largest as well. And that's our pockets back here. You can leave them black, which I almost did. It looked really good uh, with just the black, or you could add the pattern paper like I did here as well. So what, what you wanna do is cut your paper down to five and a half inches wide, because we want the die to go from edge to edge. So here is a pattern piece of paper that is five and a half wide. It does not matter the height at this point. So let me just go ahead and place this down. And let me grab my Sizzix Big Shot machine. Okay, so you wanna go ahead and place this going across. Again, like I mentioned, the height does not matter. Um, go ahead and tape it down. We're gonna run that through. And now we are left with a decorative edge. Go ahead and take it to your paper trimmer. And now you want to cut it to two inches from the very top scallop here in the middle. So just measure the top scallop with your two inch cut line. And cut that off. Okay, and this will be our decorative pocket. All of these right here. So go ahead and adhere that down to your page. You only want to add glue to three sides because you want to leave the top open to be able to put your little recipe card in. I just centered that. You could make your book, you could make it go from edge to edge. I just wanted a little bit larger book and I like the look of having the little border there. Okay, so you're going to add that to all of your pages. Then you can choose to leave it black, which I think looks really good, or you can choose to add the pattern paper to it. This, you want to add glue to the entire thing. Again, just center that. And I chose to leave a, a tiny black border at the bottom. For this one, we're using the second size down in the die set. Okay, so go ahead and get all your pages like that. This is left open for a pocket. And then go ahead and adhere your book together. I used my cinch binding machine. You can choose to put rings in them. You can also um, bind them with ribbon, whatever you choose to do. Whatever's gonna be best for you, easiest for you and what you have on hand. So the next thing we wanna do is our recipe cards that go in each pocket. As far as the lines on it and the wording, I designed that on my computer. I just simply added lines to the pattern paper and the word recipe and the word directions on the back. You can handwrite that if you choose to do so. But what you do need to cut out for that is a matte piece, a black matte piece that is five by four. And then your recipe card needs to be four and three quarters by three and three quarters. And just go ahead and mat those down just as we did our pattern paper for the book. So we're going to mat one on the front and one on the back, leaving a nice black border. And just make sure that they're both right side up, the wording. And now we can add these to each pocket. Again, you do want to bind your book first just to make it easier. And then to the front of the book, I cut out three different tags. This I'm using the large stick stitched tags die by La La Land Crafts. And I'm using the second one in the set, the second largest. I cut out three different tags, a black one, a red that matches this paper collection, and then um, the pattern paper one. 
I stamped my sentiment up here at the top and then I staggered them. Keeping the pattern one in the middle. And then I did add a bow. Let me show you the bow I used again is from La La Land Crafts. It's the stitched bow die. This makes a super cute bow. What I like to do with the bow is it also comes with a piece that you can wrap around. I chose not to use that on this one because I'm going to be adding a pearl to the center. So what I like to do is take my bone folder and very gently break up the fibers in this paper. If you pull too hard, it will rip the bow. So you don't want to do that. Just very gently get the bow started in the direction you want. Then I like to add a little bit of glue to the center of the bow here. Adhere it down. And then I do like to let it sit for a second using a little tiny clamp. If you have a little binder piece, you could do that. And then I add a little touch of glue right to the tails here. Adhere my bow to that. And then again, clamp it down, let it sit for a few minutes. In the meantime, I've adhered these three together and then adhered them to the front of my book, adding my Mercy die cut, my little cupcake, and again, my bow right to the side here. So that's all there was to it. Add as many of the um, bows and the little die cuts that you want here. Like I showed, I have the cake. I did add some Crystal Nouveau drops to the top of that. I have the little hamster here, the cupcake from, I cut the cupcake liner from glitter paper. I have the cute mixer here, which I showed in the video how you can do that. And then I also have the thinking of you, Marcy. Um, so check out La La Land Crafts. I'll have the links down in the description box. And the full tutorial for, for this project is included in the kit through a download link. So if you order this kit, You'll get a link that you can follow and I'll have full written instructions on what to cut your papers to, how to put this together. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks so much for stopping by and have a great day. Mm -hmm.